and we'll select a piezo electric effect which will be under solid mechanics So we've added our piezoelectric, piezoelectricity as shown in here. Then we move to our steady. Then we click done. We go on to start manually inputting our parameters. CS to be one, PF to add RO zero. I'll be three five UM and H zero. I'll be two three four UM. Zero. So these are the parameters we'll be using for our work. And we go next is to click our mesh and want to import. So we browse. And we import it search for thickness and we'll go up and there's a search for thickness. Okay, so this so we import the thickness shear quartz oscillator mesh. So when we import, we see our, our oscillator mesh. Add an integration. Where we select a point. To be eight. That's the point eight. This point. That's point eight. Power work. So we'll add an explicit to as well. All surface. The 
select the adjacent boundaries. Select all domains. Coordinate, let's add rotated. We have alpha beta, alpha beta of the zero point. So one, two, five, one, two, five. One, two, five, one, two, five degrees. Go to materials and add material. But everything is eighty eight. Okay. This is the material we add. Go to the piezoelectric material, we go to the coordinates. We want it to be able to keep the system too. Add mechanical damping to as well. The loss factor should be isotropic loss. We want this to be user defined to one plus three. Go to physics and we want to add. Physics. We add electrostatics, boundaries, we want to add the terminal. Terminal will be at four. Terminal that we want it to be a segment. Back to boundaries, you want to add another terminal. Same for and that name will be terminal one. That type will be a voltage as well. Voltage will be 10. And The boundaries want to add the ground will be at three. I've added terminal one, two, three. Go to add physics. We add an electric circuit. We have the ground node. We have the label and the node name.
we add a food voltage source and for the p will be two and will be zero our source type should be ac source i will make the voltage 10. that's for the device parameters we add a capacitor so two two minus one and capacitance will be seen as Okay. Let's add an external I terminal. No name as to be one zero. Voltage would be terminal voltage. Go to steady and want to add. So we add steady as an empty steady in here. go to steady steps frequency domain and adaptive frequency sweep in here so the frame will be 5.095 megahertz oh. 0.2 kilohertz. We stop at 5.13 megahertz. I want this to be user controlled in here. Oops. IBS We have this one US right here. Okay, just have to double check.
We uncheck them. Let's check our circuits. This. Then after, I think we can go ahead and compute. Okay, so we have our works of the compute computing this, this is the result that we have. The stress in the solid electric potential. Let's go to the stress in the solid and let's change the level to displacement. And this parameter frequency, let's change it to about well, around this section and let's see the time for this. So you can see the changes over this time. What we have. Look at the surface. This point. This is what we have here. This is what we have here for the solid displacement. Electric potential to. Multi slides, let's change the things to zero. Yeah, as well to zero. Number of things to zero as well. Let's plot. Okay. Let's take a comparing so. One, one, one. Okay.
Let's add a 1D plot group. Name this the mechanical, mechanical response. It's in this again, yeah. Yes, yeah. um, This minute, right? Go ahead to plot. We have this plot. You can add another study to this work. Add empty study. Right on the adaptive frequency sweep. Where the frequencies will be from. Five zero nine five. Go ahead. Two zero point two kilo. Yes. About one thing. Then it's the user controlled. Yes. One dot you. One. Let's modify the section. Modify it to not so to be disabled and also you go to store fields and outputs for selection. And select all the surfaces. We add a parametric sweep. Adding a parametric sweep to this. So that's CS will be from 0 0.1, 0 0.4, 1. One this to be this unit. We want to generate default plots for our study too. We want to go ahead and compute.
it should take us a few seconds. So we go to the mechanical response where we we'll duplicate this and we select our data set from the parametric solution. Yeah. We want to show legends. Legend should be at the lower left, no upper left. So you can see update on the graph we go to the point graph we show legends we have a legend shown in here on updated on a graph so basically that brings us to the end of this section.